Hello and welcome to another video and thank you for joining me and thank you for hitting the subscribe button at this moment and if you find out that you learned something in this video or you like this video or or you like just me just make sure you like the video just like it for any reason okay now let's get into this okay um, this is a little different from you just solving an equation because this is absolute value um, a problem, absolute value equation, and let me just show you an alternative to this. Let's say this question was written like this, negative 5 into x minus 2 equals 20. You know that um, one way you could solve this is to divide both sides by negative 5 first, okay? If we divide both sides by negative 5, we'll end up with x minus 2, and this will be negative 4. And then we can say x will be negative 4 plus 2, which gives you negative 2. So this would be your answer. If this was a parenthesis, if this was parenthesis, but it's not. Okay, another way you could do this, instead of you dividing both sides by 5, is to distribute the negative 5, you know, through. So you're going to have negative 5x, and then you have plus 10 equals 20. Then you can subtract 10 from both sides, negative 5x equals 20 minus 10, which gives you 10. Okay, and then you can say x is 10 over negative 5, so you have x equals negative 2 and the same answer will arrive so just as we have done this whether you divide first both sides by negative 5 or you distribute you have to follow the exact same steps here however you have to interpret this differently because it's absolute value so let me show you what to do here let's get rid of this okay so in this case we're going to start um, by let's get rid of this first so what we have on this side is just the absolute value function okay so we're gonna have um, we divide both sides by negative 5 we're gonna end up with x minus 2 the absolute value of x minus 2 will now be 20 divided by negative 5 so absolute value of x minus 2 will now be equal to um, negative 4 okay now look at this the absolute value of x minus 2 equals negative 4 Okay, this problem is invalid because it is impossible for the absolute value of anything to be negative. So do not go ahead to try to apply any knowledge you have, you're trying to solve it, this cannot be solved and this is the end of the video. Because when you take the absolute value of anything, your answer must be positive. If it's not positive, it's, it's like saying nothing. It makes no sense. That's the end of the video. There is no solution. Give me a round of applause. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning. Because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.